So hello and welcome to our ongoing series of Icons of Relocation podcast. My name is Simon Johnston. I'm the CEO of Icon Relocation, a provider of world-leading home search services, removals and property management solutions. Now, it's no secret that I and our colleagues are big believers in the latest technology and how it can really make a difference to the relocation experience. Relocation probably has and always will be a, a people industry. However, with the right um, technology and the right conversations, the right line of thought, you can make a massive difference to this. And that's why I really want to have a deeper conversation. And it's a joy to be sitting here talking to Lynn Greenberg, who is the founder of Pivot, a system she's developed that I believe adds real value to the relocation experience. So, hi, Lynn. How are you? Well, thank you, Simon, so much for having me. Pleasure to be that's here. A real, pleasure. real pleasure to see you again. Now, I have to say, we just talked about Pivot. So those who are not familiar with it, could you give an insight as to what the platform is, what it does, and and what your scope around this is? Yes. So Pivot is an app designed specifically to reduce employee turnover and improve the social well-being of relocated mobile remote employees and their families. So um, Simon, as, as you know, Pivot was actually started out of my own experience. I relocated from New York to London to work for Bloomberg. I landed there without knowing anyone and faced the issue that all people do when moving to a new and unfamiliar place, which is how do you go about making your new city feel like home? And there were two things that I really needed. The first was information on my city from people I trusted. Where do you live? Which bank do you join? Where do you take your mom for dinner when she comes to visit? Things I didn't want to rely on a Google or TripAdvisor for. Actually, Simon, you'll you'll appreciate this. I actually ended up living in Notting Hill solely mm, based yeah, on the well. fact that I had seen the movie and figured if it was good enough for Hugh Grant and Julia Roberts, had to be good enough for me. So ended up living there. Um, and then, you know, the second piece to the puzzle is is how do you recreate your network from scratch? Because as anyone that moves knows, it's friends you need the most when you're adjusting to a new and unfamiliar place. So spoke to other colleagues of mine at Bloomberg London, quickly realized it was a much bigger problem than just myself. All the while going to meetups, doing using dating apps for the wrong pur- purposes, um, going to bars by myself. Um, so, you know, long story short, we actually started as a consumer app for people moving and traveling to help acclimate in their new city. We were live for about six months in New York and London. Um, when we got approached by HSBC and they said, we came across your platform. We are, we love what you're doing. It's something we're struggling with internally with our relocated employees and business travelers. Is this something you'd be interested in building for businesses? And when we went back to the drawing board, we found a statistic, um, that's pretty staggering that I'm sure, you know, Simon, which is, um, that the average company spends about $90,000 relocating a single employee can be much more for an executive or with the family. And because there's no social component helping these people acclimate, about a third of them quit their job within a year or move back home because of social reasons. So when we figured this out, we decided to refactor our app to fit a business model to really help um, you know, grow, grow this in, in a unique way. And um, you know, obviously, um, this has taken, you know, the this the need has been exasperated tremendously through the pandemic. Um, so it's been, you know, a really great uh, learning opportunity, and um, and we're really excited to to be in the industry. Yeah, I have to say, I think it's it's like many things. Really good ideas are good ideas, but it's about timing as well. And I think the timing of what you've done here is really interesting. So. From your perspective, who would be the the best sort of type of person who would benefit from this platform? Is it everybody, or do you think there's certain sectors who will get the maximum from the pivot system? Yeah, so you know, we we really started out helping corporate relocated employees, mm-hmm. and and that's obviously you know we're, what this what the brainchild was. That's how I, how I experienced it. But what we learned during the pandemic is actually our need is way beyond there. Um, in the sense that everyone felt that social isolation that traditionally corporate relocated employees certainly felt. And what we what we heard more and more and what we saw was that, you know, employee retention was a really big problem across the board. And now people weren't coming into the workplace where traditionally they met a lot of their friends. 
Um, and last year, just in the U.S., 23 million Americans relocated on their own due to the fact that they could work more flexibly. Even more of them extended their vacations or spent this opportunity to spend their winters, you know, somewhere warm and their summers, you know, somewhere else. And so we really found uh, the ability to expand our platform to also support, you know, the flexible remote workers, um, internship programs, um, which I know in, in, in change has also been a, a way that mobility as an industry has, um, you know, expanded its expertise. So okay. it's, it's no, um, you know, it's, it's no surprise there. No, not at all. No, I agree with that. In fact, I might circle back to that comment in a moment. But when we talk about locations, could you give us an oversight of which locations does Pivot focus on now, currently? And do you have any views about where that will be going medium or even long term? Yes. So currently we're supporting everywhere within the U.S. and Canada. Um, we will be in the U.K. this summer um, and, uh, um, and select other uh, European countries. And we're really looking to to scale this very quickly. So, um, you know, depending on where the need is, um, we're we're looking to you know expand globally really quickly. Yeah, it'll be interesting to watch. Actually, I'm going to ask you a major question, but just for those who want to know a little bit more about Pivot, because I think it's an interesting conversation. Where would they go if they want to know a bit more? How how can they find some more information out about what you're doing? Sure. So they can visit our website, which is www pivotapp.com. Um, that's the tech way of spelling it, P-I-V-T-A-P-P.com. Um, or you could reach out to me directly, um, which is Lynn, L-Y-N-N, at pivotapp.com. Fabulous. Okay, right. Now, one of the things I'm interested in is because we are interested in what you're doing, uh, as I said earlier, we have uh, uh, some really interesting technology as well, which if you're not that familiar, which I'm sure you are. We've got a case leading system, but we also track what's going on in the UK housing market to levels I don't really know anybody else is doing this. So the information we're gathering is extraordinary. We think we, think we could do something very exciting with this, which is why I'm interested to talk to you. So do you have a sort of thoughts about where this sort of technology is going in the sense of there'll be, we're looking to connect our systems in the due course. So watch this space, guys. I think something interesting is really coming. But do you have a view about where things could be rolling into the next six months, year, two years, three years? Do you have any sort of medium term visions about how technology can really make a difference when combined with other people? Yeah, well, first of all, you know, we're so excited to be working with Icon because it's really for us about working with, um, you know, innovative companies, um, companies that are really focused on data and, and kind of moving the, the user experience to the next level. Um, and so we're really first looking for those partners that are that are looking to kind of that that enhancement um, and, um, you know, what's great about our tech is we can really integrate with everyone, um, and really, um, kind of, you know, we're, we're, we're still a startup in the sense that we can be pretty agile. Um, and, you know, our early partners are, are very much a part of, you know, shaping the product. Um, and so that's why, you know, we're, we're really excited to be working with some really great partners, um, that can ultimately really help us shape the industry in a positive way um, through data, through our learnings. Um, as you know, Simon, we do wellness check-ins um, with our users. We do a number of, um, you know, program assessments that we then use. First of all, we don't sell or use that data um, or report back that data on a user level. But from a program perspective, that's information we can give back to the RMCs, DSPs, companies to drive better dis, uh, you know, business decisions for for the good of their program and their employees. Yeah, see, that's interesting, isn't it? I, I, I'm going to get this fact wrong. In fact, you're probably going to correct me on this, but I remember reading a while ago, it said that I think it was in the last five years that more data is being collected than the rest of human history prior to that. That's extraordinary, isn't it? And this sort of the level of data. And I think for this industry, this is really uh, fascinating because I don't think there's probably enough in this area. So mm -hmm. for what you're saying, if we can sort of really make sure that from, say, our perspective, we are gathering really what's happening in the relocation experience, what's happening on the ground, the market, they're then adding what you're doing. There's potential for a real sea change in the whole relocation experience. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and you ask a number of, you know, global mobility executives, what does success look like to you? And it's, it's very, uh, you know, it's really, a lot of people can't define it. 
And um, I think what we're really excited about is two things. The first thing is people are asking these questions um, and they're going to traditional social media platforms like Facebook, like the Instagram, like, um, you know, uh, Quora. Um, they're asking these questions. However, traditional social media platforms, they are, their whole business model is based around, um, you know, uh, ad spend, right? And selling your data. And so they are motivated by how long can we get eyeballs and for how, how many eyeballs can we get on our platform? And in turn, what that leads to is actually increased loneliness and depression. And that's, of course, exactly what we're trying to avoid. And so what we're able to do, since we are not motivated by that, since we are a business subscription model, is we can get people the information and the resources that they need right away um, and the people that they need to help make their new city feel like home so that they can hit the ground running wherever they are and make the most of it. And so in doing so, in their, when they're typing their questions and concerns and pivot and they're posting about that, that's, again, high level data that would have been elsewhere that would have sold their data um, and sold that information. But we can actually take that back from a program level and, uh, you know, inform the industry, which we've never had to date. So it is interesting, isn't it? Uh, this is why I'm really looking forward to getting the systems connected and then working with some of our clients and, and getting some feedback. In fact, it might be worth you and I coming back together again in a handful of months' time. And actually, hopefully by then, we'll have some sort of case studies and have some information and look at that and say, well, how can we move this forward? And I think for anybody who's relocating, in this case, to the UK using this, how can we make that experience even better for the assignee? How can we make sure that that assignee is really productive, a happy individual when they get on the plane and fly, in your case, from New York over to London. Uh, that would be amazing. So I think there's a lot to be looked into this. So, OK, we're only days together, but I think we're going to find something amazing. Uh, I have to say, I just wanted to have a chat with you and just tell the world what you're doing and what we're trying to do together. Very interesting. So I look forward to catching up with you later. May I just say a huge thank you to you, Lynn, for joining us today from my most amazing backdrop in New York State, I believe. Very jealous of that backdrop. So, no, I so appreciate it, Simon. Um, we're, we're so looking forward to working together, and um, I so appreciate you having me on here. Always a pleasure. I look forward to doing it again sometime soon. Fantastic. Look after yourself. Take care. Speak to you soon. Thank you. Appreciate it. You too. Take care. Bye-bye.